All right, here's me. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Okay, there we go. And here's me. Hi. All right, let's talk about Eldraine. Fix my webcam a little bit. Okay, I think we're in good shape. I need to stream more. <laughs> Miss it. How's the music volume? Let's take a look at Eldraine. All right, let's see if we can get a clip of me explaining the format as quickly as possible. So Eldraine, out of all of the decks, out of all the formats, is one of the most clear-cut formats we've had ever. Um, that's a good or a bad... Oh, shoot. I spilled water. Ah! All right. That is, is a good or a bad thing, depending on who you talk to. Can't see. Hang on. I'm going to get you all over the place while I wipe off my monitor. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. How do I look? Look good. Okay, great. So, collected, not collected. Pretty excited for the new Aldrain, actually. Throne of Aldrain. All right. So here are all the Aldrain cards. I kind of wish I could make it so that it was just cards that appeared in draft, but it's fine. So the thing about Eldrain is monocolored is worth going for. And there's basically, because of the, the mechanics we have are adamant. If at least three mana of a given color was spent to pay this, play this card, you get a bonus. Um, and then food, uh, which gives you, gives you um, time. Food equals time in this format. Uh, and then the third thing is adventures. So what you have is a mechanic with built-in card advantage. Hey, Dragon Jack, how you been? It's been a while. What are you up to today? So Mill is actually the best deck in the format. And fortunately, enough people know that, that it's, it's very difficult to get Mill decks together. And that's because it's so difficult to attack someone's life total. So like... Five mana draw three, pretty good. Five mana scry three, draw three, busted. Very good. Um, there's also like, oh, they have the alchemy cards. Yeah, so that's why cards like like Forever Young is great in this format because it count. Worst case scenario is it cycles, but it counters the mill deck. Um, and you get so much card advantage out of adventure. So you need to either find strict card advantage in stuff like Unexplained Vision uh, or gradual card advantage in the adventures oh heck yeah that's awesome dragon jack the aggressive decks have to be really aggressive and build up momentum so like bell of the brawl uh pumps knights so the aggressive knights decks build momentum pretty well there's also rares are worth building around in this set so like some stuff there's a few just strong cards like rankles strong but if you can get a, a, something like a Night Lord or a Fires of Invention, you can build around that and make it really work. Like some cards, it's also important to differentiate the cards that are good. Hey, Night Dark. Two thing. I'll be talking about it more later, but this is a difficult set um, because the rules are very clear. Um, and fortunately, that does mean that you can learn the rules. But it means you're going to be in a lot of trouble if you don't know the rules. Um, so there's some very good cards in this set. Uh, you have to identify like Curious Pair. This card is not good if it's you're making a food and making a 1-3. It's very good if you have cards like Edgewall Innkeeper. Because um, it's good enough on its own. 
it's almost good enough on its own. And then cards like Marleaf Rider, it's good in the food deck. Like, you need your synergies, but there's basically 10 decks available. Uh, and they are the five monocolored decks. So it's a pretty cool design. So, like, these are the white blue signposts on commons. Shine Chaser, you want to have pairs of artifacts and enchantments. So it gets plus one plus one for an artifact, plus one plus one for an enchantment. It's okay if it's a 2 2. It's fantastic if it's a 3 3. Then you have Arcanus Owl. Four mana, three, three, and you can dig four for an artifact or enchantment. But the trick to Arcane's Owl is it goes in the mono blue or the mono white deck. Um, so there are 15 decks, period. There is not a five color good stuff deck. There is not a three color make it work deck. There is blue, white artifacts and enchantments. There is, uh, and like the rares are also pretty good signposts. There's white, black knights, and then white, there's a few different flavors of knights. The white, black flavor is very build momentum over time. Um, I love Resident Rider, but like this card is really good in the late game when you can give it an indestructible once or twice a turn. There's blue, black, mill your opponent with cards like Drown in the Lock. Um, Covetous Urge is kind of, you can have more controlling flavors of this. So like the blue, black mill deck Mono blue is the aggressive version of mill. Black is a little more controlling. So blue black together is control mill. 